I have previously issued a um, couple of sets of tapes with my uh, preferred opening repertoire. The repertoire where I uh, uh, made a lot of innovations in my personal an analysis and the openings I like myself. And I think they provided solid opening repertoire for someone who followed uh, my recommendation. However, not everyone, uh, this, this opening repertoire did not fit everyone's taste. So therefore, uh, on this series, I want to um, cover essential chess openings. Essential, I mean, the reason I'm using the word essential, because only openings that make any sense. I'm not going to be covering openings like first move h3 or first move some like a4. Well, I am only going to be covering for white or for black openings that make any sense, which is maybe like 95 to 98 percent of all uh, chess openings exist. So I'm not going to cover that small percentage, that totally um, ridiculous openings. So what I want to do, I'm not going to cover some openings uh, like... Uh, I have previously issued a um, couple of sets of tapes with my uh, preferred opening repertoire. The repertoire where I... Uh, I uh, made a lot of innovations in my personal an analysis and the openings I like myself. And I think they provided solid opening repertoire for someone who followed uh, my recommendation. However, not everyone, uh, this, this opening repertoire did not fit everyone's taste. So therefore, uh, on this series, I want to... Um, cover essential chess openings. Essential, I mean, the reason I'm using the word essential, because only openings that make any sense. I'm not going to be covering openings like first move h3 or first move some like a4. Well, I am only going to be covering for white or for black openings that make any sense, which is maybe like 95 to 98 percent of all uh, chess openings exist. So I'm not going to cover that small percentage, that totally um, ridiculous openings. So what I want to do, I'm not going to cover some openings uh, like uh, Karo Khan defense or Pirk defense, like every possible variation because I don't think I'm going to live that long. So that's going to take like forever to do. What I would like to do here is that to give one variation, one suggestion for every opening, every meaningful opening for white, one, one line for white and one line for black. So um, the recommendation will be mine, not necessarily the best line of this opening, but this is the line that you're going to be okay if you use and you feel comfortable with. So if you want additional information, of course, you have to use uh, additional sources. But uh, if you play this opening the way I would recommend you to do, you're going to be okay. That's the, my knowledge of this opening. And if you match this, th that level, you will always be okay in opening stage, and you will always have good window for the middle game. So let's start. Uh, the way I want to do it, um, um, uh, cover this openings in alphabetical order. And I would like to start with Alika in defense. And, um, well, let's start with the line for uh, what? Thank you. 
Russian defense or Petrov defense is the not kind of an opening I would recommend for you to play for black. The reason is because all black is playing for in this opening is for a draw to hope to exchange pieces and uh, somehow draw to the game that and that's that's the like uh, that's that's what their dream is in this opening however um, and there's not too many positional strategical and good ideas and not much to learn while playing black this uh, with black this opening however if you are white e4 e5 knight f3 knight f6 what would i recommend to play what line there is a line you can learn how to play in a matter of minutes of course there is knight takes e5 d6 knight f3 and knight takes e4 of course the line you can learn in not in matter of minutes in one minute is queen e2 queen e7 d3 then exchange queens and make a draw but that's not what we want we want simple line and at the same time we want to fight for advantage so therefore after knight takes e4 line i recommend strongly knight c3 it looks like simple line but it's a very sharp one black has basically here uh, two moves one of them is knight f6 and one of them is knight takes c3 the other one so the moves like d5 and bishop f5 are bad bishop f5 believe it or not was played by anand and he lost that may be the only game he lost in his whole career under 10 moves after queen e2 black is absolutely lost because they are losing the piece knight is pinned and if you go queen e7 then knight d5 attacking the queen which has to protect c7 pawn and after queen d7 d3 so he just resigned there same thing will happen if black plays d5 then queen e2 and black must play bishop e7 and white wins a pawn Hello, my name is Roman Gingy Hashvili, and this is the DVD, actually set of DVDs I wanted to make already for several years. Several years ago, um, I made set of DVDs on encyclopedia, and that was encyclopedia of course we cannot have an encyclopedia for every opening and every variation because that will take maybe 100 hours and no one wants to see that i put several years ago encyclopedia that i have a lot of followers on that on the opening repertoire that i suggest I suggest certain position for certain repertoire and if you learned this encyclopedia that means this set of openings and the way we play you got yourself very very solid opening repertoire so based on the first move for white e4 so this encyclopedia is based on white playing e4 only 
and for black we play since white starts first move we have limited number of openings that we should learn and then we have full and complete opening repertoire worked out ourselves now how this set of dvds how this encyclopedia is going to work here for example we went first move e4 we know there are so many different response for black g6 for example e6 e5 d6 and d5 and c6 and c5 even b6 and knight f6 and knight c6 there's too many openings so what i'm gonna try to do i will on the openings that are not recommended to play for black and that knowing they are bad openings we should still know something i will give you very brief line how to respond to them and how to deal with them for example move like knight c6 it's a nimtsovich opening there are several ways to deal with it move like f5 latvian can be several ways to deal with them now how do i pick what do we like best it's not what is the maximum we can get from it because if you try to get maximum in every opening then we're going to have a lot of material the probability of this bad openings played against you are very small and that's why i'm going to give you a line that you can learn in a matter of minutes and will be very very helpful and that will provide you with good very good very solid position with a clear plan that should take priority throughout whole encyclopedia and now we will start with openings I st i'm starting with white and since we go first move e4 I want to first uh, analyze some openings that are not that popular. Openings like Sicilian, for example, Karo Can, or even E4, E5, I will leave it for the last, so because they are more solid openings. But for now, making sure that you're going to be okay you know in every variation and you would know what to do and to completely eliminate the element of surprise we're going to start looking at some smaller openings some not recommended and uh, relatively weak openings for black e5 i said e5 is one of the main moves but not the way black is gonna play on move to knight f3 and now the opening with d5 move of course we're gonna discuss knight c6 in a lot detailed analysis but d5 I want to discuss now this is an elephant gambit and this is bad opening for for black and white can deal with it several different ways most competitive way ed the other way is knight takes e5 and again i cannot put both of them there so we have to pick one 
I picked for you Knight takes e5 because this guarantees you easy play with a very easy plan. Hello, my name is Roman Gingy Hashvili, and this is the part two of my suggestive encyclopedia openings. Well, as you know, part two is not connected in any way with part one because every part has different openings. And since we're in the beginning, we're covering openings for white only, then our next opening will be Pirk Defense. Pirk Defense has various different varieties to play for white and for black. And frequently, pure defense transposes into either modern or some different kind of variety of the openings. So, there are many ways to play for white because pure defense is not very ambitious opening for black, but at the same time has a reputation of having potentials. So we cannot go through all the possibilities for white. What white can do, how white should play, what's the best. I will suggest the system that is very easy to learn, very straightforward, and easy to handle. So in my previous suggestions for Perk Defense, I showed some lines that differ a lot from what I'm going to show you now. As you know, opening theory updates and upgrades all the time. So since our last suggestions, a lot change. And that's what I'm going to present to you now. So after moves e4, d6 d4, knight, f6, knight, c3, g6, knight, f3, bishop, g7, h3. That's what I was suggesting in my previous DVDs and on pure defense. Castling, bishop, e3, and here black has varieties of continuations. Actually, varieties black have black had even on a previous move to go c5 instead of castling, but we will be covering those. So after h3, castle, bishop e3. Here black can play with c6 and continue with knight d7 and e5. Also, possibility of playing knight c6 with e5. And finally, they can go b6 with the idea of developing bishop on b7. So let's go, let's start with c6. We have to look at all these possibilities. And I'm going to cover them all now. On the move c6, we go a4. This is very important move because we intending in future to play knight d2 and knight c4. Also, we want to make sure black never plays b5. So a4 is good all around move. After a4, knight d7, bishop e2. This part of the opening is almost unchanged appearing to the previous suggestions of this opening. After e5, we go d, e, d, e, and knight d2. Queen c7, knight c4. Now you'll see why we didn't castle, because we have to have enough time on rook d8 to play queen d6. 